State Senator wants the Tennessee Controller's Office to investigate Northeast State Community College and the Tennessee Board of Regents. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. I'm Josh Smith. That call for a statewide review follows Community Watchdog Nate Morbido's investigation into financial problems at the school and the TBR's role as the agency in charge of oversight. Senator John Lumberg told me today he is in the process of writing a formal letter requesting an investigation by the State Controller's Office. He says he specifically wants auditors to review what processors, processes were in place before 2015 and find out specifically what checks and balances are there now to make sure this kind of financial crisis never repeats itself at any Tennessee community college. This can't happen. Uh, this shouldn't happen. Senator John Lumberg says he recently met with the interim president of Northeast State Community College, who he says provided more insight into what led to the problems here. Somebody made bad decisions. And frankly, it wasn't just one bad decision. It was a pattern of bad decision making. He now plans on asking the state controller's office to take a closer look. We need an independent third party investigation. Probably that independent that review is something both former yeah, student government president Seth Manning. It's hard to instill confidence when we're not aware of all the facts. And current Northeast State Faculty Senate Vice President Tricia Crawford want. While the Tennessee Board of Regents reports it shared faculty concerns with the controller's office earlier this year, the only audit any agency's published so far is this one-page TBR audit released in September. It seems as if they're not taking responsibility or they're not taking the allegations seriously regarding how we got into this crisis. Leading up to the $5 million budget shortfall at the college, our investigation found signs the school's financial survival was in question as far back as 2013, years before cuts at Northeast State, and a more definitive warning sign as early as August 2016, six months before the Tennessee Board of Regents sent a team to the college to help. We've stepped up our monitoring and uh, I don't think this problem is going to happen again. TBR reports it's since made changes to increase oversight. But Senator Lumberg wants more than just the state's word. Nate Morabito, News Channel 11, in your corner. Senator Lumberg told us he plans on sending the Tennessee Controller's Office his formal request this week.